extreme conditions in Fort Lauderdale's Melrose Park neighborhood. You see this? Drivers stranded in that area, some stuck in their flooded out homes as well. Trent Kelly continues our live team coverage this morning, and he has the details on what ha is happening there. And we can see all the water behind you, Trent. Yeah, JC, in fact, we're right off Davie Boulevard here. The rain has let up this morning, but the flooding has not. You can see these floodwaters are still out covering part of the road. Again, this is Davie Boulevard just to the west of I-95. We've seen a countless number of cars this morning still trying to make it through this water while the road is passable. You do have to take it slow. Just off to the right, though, the water gets a bit deeper and off in the distance there, you can clearly see what looks like an abandoned car. The owner likely waiting for a tow truck yesterday when they decided to just give up and perhaps walk home from here. Uh, so many scenes like this in this part of Fort Lauderdale. While these waters are starting to recede, it's certainly happening a lot slower than most of these residents would like to see. Police still using armored trucks to rescue residents in need. Christy Ladius speaking by phone last night after the road to her house on West Dayton Circle was still flooded out. I'm pregnant. I have a small child and animals in the home. It's elderly people on my street. Sky 10 flying over Fort Lauderdale's Melrose Park neighborhood one day after Tuesday's unprecedented rain. Never seen this in 35 years of living in Broward County. Neighbors using whatever means necessary to get by, several vehicles still submerged. Even this tow truck needed a tow after getting stuck in the high waters while trying to pull out a resident's car. One by one, neighborhood lakes and ponds overflowing their banks. There is a catfish swimming on the street. Meantime, in Wilton Manors, flooded streets finally clearing for now many residents coming inches away from getting water into their homes. Water was rushing all the way up to here. As the flood waters recede, many roads are littered with abandoned cars, forcing drivers to weave their way through. Those stranded waiting hours to have their vehicles towed away. And back out here this morning, another live look at that car still submerged in some of these floodwaters. Uh, again, if you pan over to Davie Boulevard here, you can see again the road itself still passable right now, but there's still a couple of inches of water. You're able to get through in most vehicles, but you got to take it slow. A lot of these cars still not getting the message this morning. I've seen a couple of drivers as soon as they hit this water, they kind of stop for a couple of minutes, decide what to do before eventually making a U-turn. So uh, again, while the rain has let up this morning, you're still going to encounter some uh, areas that are still flooded out just like this. Um, again, these residents hoping to have seen more progress this morning, hoping this water would have receded a little bit more, but clearly they're going to have to keep watching and waiting and hope that any additional rain holds off while they continue to try and dry out. For now, that is the latest live from Fort Lauderdale this morning. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.